stayed uh, form the background of our social, cultural, economic, uh, and, 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 and political uh, framework basically how we live as Kenyans. And in that Bill of Rights, we did uh, outline uh, certain uh, particular rights. Yeah. Uh, the right to religion, the right to culture, mm -hmm. freedom of association, uh, freedom of expression. Uh, and so this ruling uh, actually just reaffirms yeah. or confirms what Kenyans fought for and won in 2010, that we have the freedom uh, to uh, have the yeah. conscientious following, religious following that uh, is of our liking, yeah. is uh, what we think uh, and believe in our faith. Yeah. We have the right to culturally live the way we feel is right for ourselves. We have the right to associate yeah. and express in your own way. Our but own ways. But, a lot of yeah, but having said that, then, yes. do you believe that the previous ruling of the same high court against a Muslim girl then was wrong? Yes, I did uh, at that time, and uh, I still do. Uh, and I think, uh, About fortunately, with yeah. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. ruling yeah. now uh, uh, does grounds for appeal for e the other exactly one. Yeah. Uh, because I think in th uh, this country uh, and uh, in the world we must uh, celebrate our diversity. Uh, we must know that uh, God uh, created uh, men, women, and children uh, with the thinking yeah. uh, of uh, espousing diversity. Yeah. And that is what we have to celebrate. There is okay. no religion or way of life that should be thought of as being higher than another, or more preferred than another. And the other? Yes. Okay. And, and I think you've actually put that very well. So you spoke about the history of the Rastafarian culture, and for our viewers who may have no idea where Rastafarian mm -hmm. culture came from, I don't know who is best placed to just give us a brief history. Is it you, uh, Ras Lojuron, Jaden, who can just give us in a few words, where did the Rastafarian culture, religion come from? Yeah, man. <clears throat> what I can say is since creation, because when the Almighty Creator created man and woman, he took the clay from Ethiopia and molded it to create I and I as a black man and black woman. But the Rastafari culture specifically uh, uh, has sprung out, uh, we deified our ancestors, like Marcos Gave, Haile Selassie, who stood up and said, uh, where is the black man's God? You know what I mean? Uh, so this question, uh, uh, started articulating in the minds of many, and uh, and, 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 and and with this question uh, came the birth of Haile Selassie of of, of, of Ethiopia, of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who has also a connection with the Solomonic dynasty uh, of ancient uh, David. Uh, so Rastafari I say, unto us a son is born, unto us a child is given. Uh, so when Haile Selassie was born in, 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 Ito in Ethiopia mm -hmm. as a young child, uh, uh, the, the question of Marcos Gavi was answered uh, that uh, uh, now the black man king has, has come. Has come. So yeah. is the spiritual home Ethiopia, some say Jamaica, what just helped Yeah, clarify. the foundation is Ethiopia. The foundation is Ethiopia. Yeah, man. Okay. And in your, how, how do you describe a Rastafarian? Who is a Rastafarian? He's not a Farian. He's a Rastafari. 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 <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. I and I. And I, I stand corrected. He's a Rastafari. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yes, sir. He's a Rastafari. You know, yeah. it involves I and I, you know. Yes. So a Rasta man or a Rasta woman is a is a natural being is a natural human being who believe in in, in the ancestors yeah. uh, and who believes in the in in the, in, in the nature yeah. and we believe and above all we believe in love okay. love of the self and love of the creation okay but so that, uh, that's a good description but Baba Makeda what what constitutes a Rastafari to you because now this do I have to dread to be a Rastafarian or is it a conviction of the heart? This is coming from a song. I, 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 yeah. I know the song. <laughs> <laughs> Please use the mic. Yeah, you just use the mic and just tell us according to you who is uh, a Rastafarian. You don't have to uh, you don't have dread to be a Rasta. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a in a manisha show Lazima Ukwe mtu akutisha and you Rasta. Yeah. Rasta <laughs> nimtum pole. 
Rasta kama Rasta ni mtu mpole ongeza sauti kidogo kwa sauti Rasta ni mtu anapenda amani tuseme kwa hivyo ni njia ya kimaisha ambapo tumejitenga labda na vitu tofauti tofauti za kimaisha na hakuna ile zile restrictions ambao eh, naweza kukuambia kunazo ambao tumeekewa ati rasta ni hivi ama rasta ni vile mm. lakini kila mtu ana njia zake za kimaisha kimaisha eh. okay. kuna mwingine anapenda kula vitu vingine mimi spendi kula mm. na siwezi mjaji kwa vile anakula tofauti na mimi kuna mwingine ana ana mingo na vitu zingine labda mimi spendi naona hivyo na nyi warasta mnaamini kila mtu anaamini the same thing ama kuna wale wanaamini hivi maybe in one grouping cuz uh, nilikuwa naona jana kuna wengine wanaitwa wanafuata i don't know kama ni bobo shanti wengine wanafuata jia nyingine are there mm-hmm. like different groupings within the rasta fara following of course kama, the, kama vile imeandikwa Eh, nyumba ya baba ina ma, ina, 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 ina makao mengi yeah. na siwezi kwa describe okay. siwezi kwa describe yani yeah. kama vile alisema nyumba ya baba ina, eh, ina makao mengi so kila mtu kwa tofauti kidogo uh, lakini njia maisha ni hiyo hiyo moja ndio vile yani ni, ni judge not no, okay uh-huh. let's bring in princess wakesh on this what is your understanding of rest affair and we say that it's a way of life what is that way of life yes greetings yeah you you're fine the microphone is fine i'm fine yeah i really give thanks to being here first you know i just want to add that there are different mansions of rastafari you are bwf Naya Bingi, Bobo Shanti, 12 tribes of Israel. I am a member of the 12 tribes of Israel. Rastafari comes from the name of Haile Selassie, who was born Tafari Makonen. Ras means prince, Tafari means without fear. Crowned Haile Selassie 1930. Haile Selassie means the power of the Trinity. So to be a Rasta, different mansions three things bind rasta together the belief in almighty god because rasta fears and worships the one true god the god of heaven rasta also believe in the davidic line of kings understanding that the bible records the covenant between david and the almighty almighty said so long as you see the sun and the moon then they'll never lack a man to sit upon the throne of king david that dynasty has existed for 3000 years ever since the queen of sheba met with king solomon and a queen and a king was born of that union so rasta believe in that line of king david and that christ will return yeah. to sit upon the throne of david rasta also believe in repatriation black consciousness black pride the african continent africa rising so that is what rasta believe in a nutshell what are you holding in, in your hand is that a constitution what, 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 is that a bible i have the constitution and i have the bible is that the normal bible that we all know mm-hmm. of course okay the king james version which are the bible rasta don't have a different bible <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the king james version the so king those, james version those are the t- in your view those are the two books that you hold strongly the constitution shows you the law and that's why you're very happy with the 2010 constitution but also Extremely. the bible as the religious book that you follow the bible is giving us the right to wear the dreadlocks okay and you have any particular scriptures on that or, or is it the leviticus 1927 one numbers chapter 6 it is clearly written in numbers chapter 6 that no razor shall touch his head The Bible records so many people that were dreadlock. Samson was a dread, Absalom was a dread because there was the vow of the Nazarite. Mm-hmm. So that man took a vow not to cut his hair in order to show that he's different and separate himself from the world because we are in this world but we are not of this world. Mm-hmm. Samson was a dreadlock. 
Absalom was a dreadlock. Christ himself was a Nazarene and had taken the Nazarite vow. So Christ, we know without a doubt, was a dreadlock. These are the Christ that you see, blonde, blue eyes. I hear is Michelangelo, one with a body, I'm not sure. But really, we speak of the black Christ, written clearly of. All right. And then so, so there has been a lot of debate about what Christ yeah. looks like. So there's mm. an interesting point there. You want to bring in. Yeah, well, let's bring in now. Uh, honorable. Uh, honorable Empress Wanjiro, the teacher of the profession. Uh, the, the microphone is with you there. You can just have it and also tell us, in your own view, what do you understand Rastafari to be? Okay, blessed love. Uh, but uh, as I said, the long and short of it is I probably have been uh, fortunate, More fortunate. Uh, to, to be granted the opportunities uh, I have. And I say that because I know there are very many uh, men and women okay. who have not had similar opportunities. I meet uh, uh, law students uh, uh, and uh, university like students yeah. who tell me they have been asked to cut their dreads. Uh, they have been told they cannot join the bar because yeah. they have dreadlocks. Uh, and they wonder why, uh, and all this uh, uh, discrimination is still there uh, broadly in our yeah. society. Okay. But I'm happy about uh, such forums, I'm happy about uh, the cases I've, that have been going to court because those are helping in uh, providing information. Uh, about uh, our diversity, yeah. uh, about uh, the Rastafari uh, uh, movement and, and way of life, uh, but also uh, in, in tracing our own uh, cultures and traditions, because these are not uh, cultures and traditions that are alien to Kenya. Yeah. Uh, when you look at uh, the way uh, in some communities uh, men did and still wear their hair uh, in Africa as a whole, <laughs> uh, but also in Kenya. When you trace uh, 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 our history, our freedom yeah. uh, and justice uh, uh, history yeah. in how the Mau Mau and other freedom fighters uh, espoused and expressed their physical being and, <coughs> and identity. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that also tells you why uh, this way of expression uh, okay. is being fought on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Okay. And you've spoken about uh, the court cases and we did not mention that Raswambua here is the father of the, the, of the young girl who went to court. Then uh, and, uh, Baba, Makeda. Baba Makeda. Baba Makeda, and I'd like to hear from you. Ilifika wakati ukafikiria ama ninyoe tu mtoto. Kwa sababu asha fukuzu wa shule, utaanzia wapi. Uliai fikiria ama ni mnyoe tu alafu diendele na masomo. Asante tena kwa hiyo futsa. Na... Si kuwa ifikiri hivyo kumnyoa mtoto kwa maana si wa kwanza mm. e, kuna watangulizi wake waliwahi kusoma na hizo nywele hadi kuanzia chekechea shule ya msingi hata ya sekondari sasa um, nilipopeleka makeda kwa ile shule na kajaza ile form yeah na tuka tuka tijaza uh, vizuri sana kwamba uh, imani yetu ama itikadi yetu ni rastafara kulikuwa na kulikuwa na sehemu ya religion hapo kajaza rastafara yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. na ulikuuliza shule ni wakasema hii ni nini karudisha form walirudisha eh yeah, alafu tukapewa go ahead kulipa school fees kwa account ya banki nene kwa account ya shule kwa bank yeah ya mtoto akapewa sare za shule juu wanapewa kwa shule hapo unalipa una, unapewa sare hapo alipovaa sare za shule hasa ndio aliona ile nywele yake unaona sasa alipoenda darasani yule mwalimu akaenda ku report kwa principal ya kwamba na kama mwanzo unajua mi admit rastafari ana hapa ndio leo eh ali msamon kwa kranene eh kwa ofisi eh alipoenda huko akaambiwa avue hiyo kitamba wakaona ni dreadlocks sasa wakamwambia either anyoe ama asirudi shuleni mmm ndio akakuja akaeleza vile mambo yalivyokuwa kwa sasa makeda kwa pia kwa shule eh makeda iko shuleni amerudi I tangu January Koshuleni. Okay. Okay. January Koshuleni. Mm -hmm. okay. Ras, Ras Lodron, where do you think this discrimination came from, especially on the hair? Yeah, man. You see, a people without knowledge of their past, mm 
is like a tree without its roots and soon it fall it. So uh, uh, the problem with us black people, we, we forget very quickly. Colonialism was just there the other day. If you ask most people on the street what is that, they don't, they don't even want to reflect to it. Slavery, which started in 1541, and it affected mostly the people of the black skin color, is a, is a history that we must not forget. Even if we have the, the, the heart of forgiving and the, have the heart of restoration, you know, them and continuation, we must not forget what happened to our people. You see. Uh, but can I, can I remember what happened to our people without being a Rastafari? Yeah, man, because it's history. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm a student of history. Mm -hmm. And history is there to help us to, to, to reflect on the, on the future mm -hmm. and even on the past so that we can be able to make the right decisions, mm -hmm. not to repeat on the same things that happened before. So, and I say this because I remember I have read my fair share of history mm -hmm. and I want to do as much as, I, as possible to be true to who I am. Mm -hmm. But I like wearing a suit, true. which is not African. True. I like speaking English, true. which is not African. True. So um, am I being true to who I am as an African if I do that? Yeah, you are being true to yourself. You know what I mean? It's good to love yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this thing is like that, you know? After slavery and after colonization, uh, stigma still remained in the minds of the black people. Mm. And uh, this, is, this has affected our society so much uh, from almost everything, from food, clothing, from, from, from the way we, we, we love ourselves, you see. So a uh, long time ago in Africa, we live together with our grandmothers and grandfathers in highly social, moral society. There were no prisons, there were no hospitals, there was not even a single book to guide us, but we loved one another and the society was highly orderly and until the coming of uh, slavery, uh, which distorted most of our societies. And in those times, hair represented a lot. You'll see, you'll see a lady and know whether she is married or not through the hair. You will know a king through the hair. You will know uh, uh, so significantly uh, hair was part of our society in ancient Africa. Uh, when slavery came because uh, they wanted uh, uh, to gain quickly and what so they started shaving us for, 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 for reasons we don't know. And uh, this is one part which, which uh, when also colonization came, uh, uh, the hair also was, uh, was a threat to the, to the colonial master. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they also had to shave uh, the people to, uh, for, for them to gain uh, whatever they wanted to gain. Okay. Yeah, man. And let's bring in Princess Wakesh on this, and uh, the microphone is with her. You can just take it and tell me, what are some of the values you instill in the people who are Rastafari? Is it, is it the normal values we all have? Are there certain beliefs that you have that are not standard? Or widely the, accepted? Yeah, widely accepted or widely by known, people. For example. Mm -hmm. Two quick ones. The what may Britain has touched on, yeah. the emancipation from mental slavery. So as a Rastafarian, we instill that value in those who share those beliefs, that you have to free up your mind from colonial slavery kind of understanding. We live in a society where personally, I really feel sorry for the, for the sisters, especially in Kenya. See? Because dreadlocks is natural, cheap, easy to maintain. For me, the only person who gets any money from my hair is probably the shampoo man. Then now here you have this Brazilian weaves. <laughs> Must be maintained. Then you have these chemicals on your hair, which we hear are causing cancer. Now, these values we put in our people. Yeah. 
because Kenya was a country that was liberated by the dreadlock. So you wonder now where that fear and that hatred comes from. But it comes from where you dislike yourself. Yeah. You are not a fan of who you are. Rasta also instills black pride, black consciousness, so that you're proud to be black, proud to be an African. You don't have to bleach yourself and spend so much time so that you look like a white person. Mm -hmm. Black pride, yeah. those two, yeah. I'll say. And what about education? Before you come in, there's, there are people, there's this misconception that Rastafari I don't like to go to school. I have no idea where this misconception came from. Yeah. Do you because, understand? Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. Let me finish, then I'll come to you. Speaking for what I know, yeah. throughout the world, you'll find Rastafari, Rastafari who are doctors, mm -hmm. engineers, lawyers, teachers. Education is a thing that Rasta take very, very, very seriously, yeah. extremely. So I don't know where this misconception came from. I have no idea. <laughs> Kenyans should be ashamed of themselves anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let those, I know people want to respond to that. Yes, yeah. go ahead. What you're saying about education. Just hold the mic closer. His yeah. Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie yeah. was always the Minister of Education. Mm. And we are called by his name, so you can't say that Rasta don't go to school. Yeah. So we actually like follow our father's footsteps and value education very much. So the, the, then it means that Rastafari adopted part of the Western culture because even before then we didn't have education, but they came with it. No, we had education. Civilization really starts in Africa, my lord. Uh, we had education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But our systems were different. So, so with, yes. the education changes, but what she's saying, I think, is there was yeah, a form yeah, of education. We had exactly. education yeah, in Africa. So which one are we adopting now? Our usual education on the or Western you What home? you are asking is about the, 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 the formal education yes. that we have. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. yeah, even Rasta has gone through that. Yeah. We go through it. So you accept that? Yeah, we have no problem with that because His Majesty says we choose what is good from the white people and leave what is bad. Oh, so okay. what is good we can have, but what is not good, we leave it, my lord. Ras yes, Lodron wanted yeah. to come in on that, yes. and also Bobby. Mm -hmm. You wanted to say something about education? It's just like how what the sister says, civilization sprang from the river Nile down, uh, downwards towards the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and what is education? Mm -hmm. You know, education means how you follow the ways of your ancestors, how, what they eat, you know what I mean? Uh, their, their, their moral and social culture. You know what I mean? So if a child feels that the first role model is the mother and father, you know, a, a, as opposed to the teacher, you know, eh? so that means education starts at home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Eh? You know, it, it starts with the basic things on how, when you enter the world, how should you behave? And it, it doesn't start with pen and paper and A, B, C, D and A for Apple, no. Apple, Apple came with them because <laughs> Apple is not even grown in Africa. <laughs> you know what I mean? It should be A for aloe vera mm -hmm. or, 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 or for something else that is related to us. So education has been with us for, 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 for centuries, you know what I mean? Because we build the, the, the ancient walls of, of, of Egypt. Mm -hmm. you, you, if you have heard of Imot, Imotep, mm -hmm. the, the first medicine man, mm -hmm. the first physician, he was an African. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So what does that mean? Reading and writing physics and the mathematics and all this started here in Africa. Mm -hmm. We must not always, uh, uh, when we look at something good, we, want, we, we say it, it's, it came from the West to us. The education that came from the West is the missionary education, you know what I mean? Which, which now, uh, they, they say that the reason why they are enslaving the black people is because they are uncivilized according to the European civilization, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But we have we have had civilization here with us for 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 since the beginning of the world mm -hmm. you know what i mean you know how to make fire you know how to collect fruits mm -hmm. how to make medicine all this this is what education comprises of this so the perception of being uncivilized was based on the or the western Comparison civilization on the western yeah. civilization yeah. and uh on uh, we must be uh, uh very very uh Look at what is happening right now with our children. Yeah. You know them. Eh? Uh, even yesterday, you, you hear books are being brought in to schools, which even we, uh, is not related to our culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know them. We must be very careful on what we feed the children. Mm -hmm. You know them. 
you know so tell, tell me this and a viewer is asking this mm -hmm. uh, they are trying to understand the hair and they're asking you see a lot of rastafari with hair that some it's open you can see mm -hmm. others completely cover their head that you you know you can't see the hair at all is there a reason why or is just the, the style that yeah, there's a lot of dust around and also, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I mean, eh? you don't want to go home every time and wash, wash. and your hair is very long, exactly. it takes long to dry. So sometimes we cover it for different, and Completely also... Completely cover that and, no one and can And the see covering it. also represents that uh, uh, we, are, we, are, we have taken a vow of responsibility. We are, we are on duty. That is why we are here today, you know what I mean? We are on duty. That means we represent our society, we represent our government, we represent our continent. So the hair uh, 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 is not just a fashion thing. It's not just a fashion thing. Yeah, one that, uh, that you just want everyone to see and touch and you, you change it this way and that way. It, it, but uh, because it's hair belongs to different individuals, everyone have values uh, on, on how they carry their hair. But as a Rasta man and a Rasta woman, it shows that we have separated ourselves from the filthy way of the Babylon. You know what I mean? When you see a Rasta man, he, he, he shows that he, 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 has, he has put a discipline for himself, that he don't beat his wife, you know what I mean? Eh? He don't go on the street drunkard, you know what I mean? And using uh, uh, cigarettes and other drugs, that, uh, showing the, the young people a uh, wrong way of life. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. the hair shows that we have totally separated ourselves yeah. from the, from, and is also a, a, a conviction to the Almighty that when we meet God, we will show him that uh, the, 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 the strength of our hair represent our love for him. Okay. You okay. Know? Because how do you show God that, that you love Him? What you know? So we we we, we show Him yeah. through our hair. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, we like to take a short break here, but when I come back, I'd like to hear how the Rastafari instill respect and discipline on the children. Okay. This is coming at a time when we saw a young child hurling insults on social media. We've not heard from the Rastafari what they think and how they think this current generation can lead the children who are touted as the future of the country. But first, there's a lot coming through on 224222 at Citizen TV Kenya, Trevor mm -hmm. Bidjad Waiga Maura. Hashtag is daybreak. Let's bring them up and try and read some of them. And now we have Tengod Jugush who says being a Rastafarian is not wrong at all, but we have to understand that in Kenya, we have made it a stereotype that dreadlocks are associated with mungiki or thugs. Can we please respect others and their practices, please? All right. All right. Uh, someone here on Twitter says, Sir Gyoko, I and I believe Rastafarian is a dedication to the Old Testament and the way these were before Babylonians came up with Christianity. Okay, that's the opinion. Mm -hmm. It's a conception of the heart. Let's love each other. Wagwan. Wagwan Rasta. I can't say, I don't have the, 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 the proper way of saying it. I know others would say it differently. We have Jatelo Kenyo says, actually the word Rastafarian is not just about having dreadlocks. It's the way one lives and runs his or her daily lives. People mistake Rastas as a gang, but that's not true. It's a culture or belief just like Christianity and the others. All right, five SMSs. Let's go with the first one. 2242 is the SMS line. This is what uh, you're saying this morning. Joe Kanyiri, for real, I would say this is a learning session for all. I'm happy Rastafarian culture is being demystified. Thanks to the panelists. We who are Christians or Muslims were just introduced to a doctrine which we were induced as a kid involuntarily. So I define it as a lack of knowledge to segregate Rasta. All right. Let's see what else comes in on 2242. Just text us your name and where you're texting from. Otoa oh. Sifuna Mwalimu. from Nairobi, Mwalimu. Yes, he says, when we start to appreciate diversity and coexist as brothers and sisters, despite the myriad orientations that make us unique, then we create synergy among our societies. Blacks, whites, Rastafarians, Christians, traditionalists, ETC, all these are God's chosen diverse humanity. Let's embrace each other. I'm a teacher and my class has all this diversity and is non-discriminatory. Ja, one love. All right. Oh, there's, there's been a response here in studio <laughs> to that message by Otua Sefuna. You don't give us your name, but you say, I am more enlightened about the Rastafarian now than before. These guys are talking sense, especially the two ladies who have put it into clear perspective. But pale si jailewa ni pale pa holy hub. 
<laughs> Can Princess expound on that? Overall, I think I respect <laughs> them more. Okay, so there's a question there. We'll get an answer. <laughs> Holy hub, they call it. All right. Now, Charles Mwanyolo from Likoni says, Kuna marasta wengine, hawana rasta, lakini wanapenda rege sana kama mimi. Hapa sina rasta. J, naeza kuwa kwa hiyo culture yenu, ama ni lazima niwe na rasta. Mm-hmm. And one last one here, you say this morning, this is comment from Eldoret, matters religion or spirituality are very sacred. The constitution has even ring fenced this reality. At face value, one is tempted to be judgmental on Rastafarians. You can view it as a lost lot. But again, other religions carry crosses on their necks, long clothing and all manner of symbolism. Just like the English language I use in this message, most religions came with our colonial masters. We cannot point fingers, confusion galore. That's right. comment from Eldred. <laughs> and there are some questions which we'll get answers to on the other side of the break. Absolutely. We'll talk about the holy hub, like you call it. We'll talk about respect and discipline for the children. And Ras Logeron will also tell us what the rod stands for. Well, he's been holding it uh, quite... Yeah, uh, very conspicuously. And there's also some language that the Rasta use. Jara yes. Safari, I've heard I and I. I and I are and, live, and liberty. And what liberty. Are, what we'll find mean? out some of the terms that are the most common in the Rastafari culture. That in just a bit.